Is this what you and Curtis were trying to tell me? Great, you told him. Good, let's get you dressed for that meeting. I, I can't have the meeting here. I, I really can't. I'm gonna have to go see Charlie. Number two, tell him right now. Tell me what, guys. Come on, come clean now. Santa, there's a clause. Yeah, that would be me. No, I mean there's another Santa Claus. Curtis, in case you haven't noticed, this time of year, the malls are filled with other Santa Clauses. Yes, but there's another Santa Claus. There was a first clause, but there's also a second clause. Get on with it! When the last Santa Claus fell off your roof and you put on his coat, you found this. Right. He who wears the coat takes on the responsibilities of Santa Claus, something like that, and of course the rest would be history, right? But it seems our number two elf, the keeper of the handbook, overlooked the single most important detail in the history of Christmas. Wow. One mistake in 900 years. Look. I, I can't see that. Better now? Uh, or now? Well, better now. It's getting there. Or now. I can't see anything. I see. Good, good, good. I see it. OK. Well, well, the card holder acknowledges a woman of his choosing, true love, not valid in the state of Utah, holy matrimony. I got to get married. Yes, it's the Mrs. Claus. What if I don't want to get married? Oh, dear. The desantification process has begun! The desantification? Are you telling me that in that clause it says that if I don't get married, I don't get to be Santa anymore? What about the kids? What, what about the elves? What, what about you guys? It's not completely hopeless, or you still have time to find a wife. Right. Well, how much time do I have, Curtis? 28 days. 28 days. So I've got to find a wife by Christmas. Actually, Christmas Eve. <laughs>